Hey there, folks. This is Bobo the Vulture. And this is Let's Play The Republia Times. Um, yeah. So, I guess, um, now that we're back to being The Republia Times again, I have a little fonder memories of The Republia Times. That was back when I had good old JoJo and Bobo Jr. <sighs> Still. I guess Republia is where it's at now. Let's get going. I'm the new editor-in-chief. The war with Integria is over. Wait a minute, and the rebellion and the uprising has been crushed. Order is returning. But the public is not loyal. Hey, this text sounds like the time from the first one around. What gives? Although I do still have a new wife and child. Alright, let's get going. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, Republican National Team has won the football tournament. New in sports. Now, like, I could do something like this, where, like, hey, Republia wins football. The system works. Spy satellite reduces crime. And the rebellion has been crushed. Awesome. And weather. I mean, I can design the paper in a different way, it's just... This is not gonna be, like, the main story is underneath the fold. Like, if you came up to this, uh, newspaper in a paper box, um, you wouldn't see this bottom half here. You might see the top of the words, Rebellion Crushed. You wouldn't see the whole headline, the main headline, the thing that you're supposed to use to buy the paper. Admittedly, this has more points of entry above the fold, but they're the less important stories. These are the things that you have to concern yourself with. Which is why usually newspapers will have little things up around the top of the name of the paper, little skyboxes they're often called, uh, put up there that have, like, in sports and in entertainment and so on and so forth. Anyways, those are interesting articles. Yeah. Hmm. Balls. Janet Jenlin, yes! Boy, not very good government news today. Boy, this is a bad day for news. Okay, Chad and Jenlin, that's going to be our main. Um, honoring veterans, that'll be good. Um, going to go with an important weather story, and... I mean, it's, it's important, I guess. People will care about it. Better to say that than that the reason why is because we have terrible training facilities. Loyalty could have gone up by more, but our readership is up. Family lives normally under their care. That's good. Multiple terrorist cells are foiled. Chad and Jenlin got married. They make up and break up all the time, those crazy guys. Mumpet Mosh! Everybody loves the Mumpet Mosh. It was a Mumpet Mosh. Oh. Lishku is retiring. That's sad. There gonna be any more articles today? Anything else cropping up in the news feed? Ah, this paper's good enough. Oh, okay, we're getting the wire garbage. Readership's up, loyalty's maxed out. Oh, okay, you establish your secure channel, see what I care. Not Mestonda! Lifetime glory medal. You're so great, great leader. 
Miss Donda is dead. The, uh, the weather. Big story about weather. Sea breeze. Not really that important, but hey. And the bomb factory was destroyed. Yay, more readers. Yep, my family is doing all right now. Broad satisfaction with the government, yay! Don't think I'm going to tell anybody about the Integria Navy sinking our Republic battleship. Ah. Entire Republic hockey team killed in plane crash, no! Oh, hurricane might be coming. That's big news. Broad satisfaction with the government. Politics, Paul's positive. I do love a good alliterative headline. And Restoju is going to the semifinals. Unfortunately, Leshku is, uh, you know, not doing as well. Anyways, the day is done. I foresee it. Hey, nice big bump in readers. Ah, oh, oversight is being withdrawn. Well, that's cool. Military gasoline was stolen. Hey, nice. We rounded up some rebels. You know what? Screw you, cursed of. I don't care. I don't even care about this government either. I'm just gonna put in the most exciting stories. But within spec and weather. You know what? Yeah, just forget all you guys. Oil field sabotaged. Cursed of, I wanted that oil. So that I could power my lava. Oh no. I lost loyalty somehow. Maybe I wasn't paying close attention to what the uh, articles were saying. Hmm. Well, my family is still being well cared for. Terrorist leaders. Rebel hideout was destroyed. Well, okay. Fine then. Rebels routed. We can rescue your family. I know you can't rescue my family. Our young heroes. You know what? Screw you. I'm not sowing disloyalty. I'm staying loyal to the Republiana, Republican Party line. Unseasonal snow? That sounds interesting. Hmm. These are all the stories we're getting? Fine. Let's make a big, big uh, weather story. Where was the weather? Yeah. Unseasonal snow in the south. Da, da, da. Yes, and TV news. Let's end the day with that. See, our loyalty is back up. Yes, please, protect my family. Treat them well. All right, go. Our, fire, our fighter is the best. Faster fighter flown. See, they like them too. Yeah, these are not good headlines. Integrity Navy. Please help us. The government's tyranny must end. Place negative articles. No. Not gonna help you. Buckle down for ice. These are the only articles we're gonna get? Jeez. I'm gonna need to use weather as the main story. And this will happen in, uh, in your life in a newspaper, too. There just won't be good. There just won't be good stories. Athletic training, rebel sabotage, Tiger and Navy sinks Republic battleship. I guess. No. Oh, well, never mind. I missed the story. Our readership went down. Yep, our readership went down because we do not have enough readers. 
Or because we did not have enough content. You don't put some content in there, people are just going to think you're the penny saver. Nobody reads the penny saver. The government cannot win. Sealed F8. Place negative articles. Psh. Yeah? Even though your second in command just got captured? Ah, uh, yes. Our soldiers are strongest in the world. Yeah. All of these other stories are negative stories. Bad tech production, rebels succeeding, and Tegria's code being... And, of course, the kayaking team defecting. Don't want any of that. Interesting articles and high loyalty. Yay! My family is doing well. This family number three. Whatever. We have no time. People must be free. Spread negative news. People won't be free. Bah. Rebels regroup. I don't know. No, no, no. What? These are all bad stories. All of these stories are bad. Give me a good story. Storms! <laughs> and, uh... Crevy Crevy. And... Gas stolen. It's gonna drop the loyalty, but yeah, it's still over 20. The article's here. Yeah. Hey. The great and honorable leader has decided the printed paper is old technology. The Ministry of Media will be moving to focus on online communications. Your services are no longer acquired. Your family has been eliminated, and you will be reassigned. So there you go, folks. This is what apparently I'm going to have to look forward to in my life. My family will never be allowed to survive. The question is whether I continue to get to design newspapers. And here's the Accept Fate button. What happens when I accept fate? The game starts over. Ouch. Well, guess I can't say I'm shocked. But this is the sad, sad fate of being a paginator. Or I guess the editor-in-chief. I guess all I am doing is drawing out vague dummies. I'm not actually going in and uh, editing, formatting the text, making headlines fit adding photos. There are no photos in these newspapers. No wonder it's so hard to gain readership. Anyways, folks, and yes, I know, many fine newspapers didn't, at least until recently, have pictures on their front pages. But anyways, I digress. But this is Bobo the Vulture. This has been Let's Play the Republia Times. At least I think that's what it's called. Maybe it's called Ministry of Media. But regardless, folks, I thank you very much for watching, and uh, hope that you'll uh, join me on uh, my next Let's Play adventure. Bye now. Addendum! Hey folks, this is Boba the Vulture, um, although you already know that because this is being tacked on to the previous video. Basically, I completed this game in sort of one sit-down and then sort of broke it up into digestible chunks, both for my camp studio and, you know, for my viewership, however you want to look at it. Um, but uh, considering in the two days since Chapter 1 came out and the one day since Chapter 2 came out, or Part 2 of my Let's Play the Republic of Times came out, um, I've already received several 
people posting saying, hey, I bet you could win the game if you did this, or I bet you could save your family if you did this, or hey, is there a way that you can uh, come out on top and all this? Um, this is the Twitter feed of Lucas Pope, the designer of the Republic of Times. There he is. Check him out. Got hair and a mustache. Beard. Pretty awesome. But uh, right down here. Somebody uh, tweeted him and said, I've played it a couple times. Enjoyable. Thank you. Is there more than one outcome, or is it just me? And he said, there are two endings, but you can't change the ultimate outcome. Now, you've just seen one of the endings, right? The one in which uh, you continue to do well and just toe the party line, and print media is replaced in the country, and your family is killed, and you are set to start all over. So, let's go find a different, a different, uh, means. Let's go find a different, uh, ending. There's one other ending. Let's go get it. The national football team has lost. The rebellion has been crushed. Yearly donations to the state must increase military spy satellites you know what the rebellion's not on I'm just gonna put up uh, I'm just gonna fill my newspaper with sedi seditious poetry anyway alright seasonal snow in the south blizzard let's end the day clearly we've gotten all the stories we're gonna get taxes rise Oh man, our readership went up, but loyalty went down. My family's being punished. That's alright. I already know, because I have uh, amazing foresight that uh, that they won't be able to uh, they won't be able to be uh, saved. So, what do I care? Tactical fighter flight ends in crash. That sounds cool. Chad and Jenlin. Alright. Weather. Um, that's a good story. That's a good story. That's a neutral story. Are we going to get any more, uh, any more stories here? Uh, that's a positive story. They uh, shut down a bomb factory. Anything? That all we've got? Yep, that's all we got. Let's send a print. Loyalty went down minus three. My family is still being punished. We're gonna have to perform a miracle if we want to. Um, if we want to raise uh, people's loyalty up to a positive twenty from a negative fifteen. Am I right? 30,000 teachers and academics are reassigned. Educators punished for being smart. That sounds... bad. Chad and Jenlin got married. Storms predicted to wash out the western coast. Um... I don't care. Let's send a print. Oh man, we're still dropping loyalty ever so slightly. You have failed to inspire your readers, and their loyalty remains weak. Your services are no longer acquired. Your family has been eliminated, and you will be reassigned. So I'm sent to a work camp. Um, in this one, uh, my family is killed, as it is always, and um, I am reassigned. Sent to a work camp. You cannot change your ultimate outcome. Your family will always die, and you will always be reassigned, presumably, to a labor camp. But there you go. Two different endings. Their loyalty remains weak.
So we are all all good here. I mean, I suppose here. I'll do one more just to uh, multiple terrorists uh, foiled. Now, the rebellion has been crushed. Um, okay, there's a sports star story. I know I could put in more stories, but now I'm trying to keep my readership low. You see, 250? Nope. Okay, make a group hugging boys. Tank production, peace enforcement. Okay, the peace enforcement squad has routed up uh, rebels. Chad and Jenlin. I mean, not Chad and Jenlin. Those are the our boys are the best. Um. Are there any more patriotic stories coming? No. I'm going to go ahead and end the day, even with incomplete stories. This will raise loyalty and uh, lose us readers, you see. But the uh, loyalty of the readers is... The loyalty of the readers that we have is high. Um, badly trained. Uh, yearly donation. Since the state must increase. Hmm, this is not a very good random blend here. We getting any more stories here, Bubba? Ugh. That is not exactly what I was looking for. Surely there has to be at least one pro-government story that we can run today. That ain't one. That ain't one. That ain't one. Alright, Chad and Jenlin. It's all about Chad and Jenlin. Obtain 400 liters by the end of day 5. Okay, by the end of day 5. Probably our army shuts down bomb factory in the mountains. Tropical breezes. Baseball team. Baseball team is all about uh, the great leader and thanking him for their awesome baseball successes. Now then, anything else? Any other stories coming along? Because I don't mind not putting in enough stories. And I don't think I'm going to meet the uh, goal of readership. 500. Yeah. Loyalty is at maximum. Alright, by the end of day 5. This is the start of day 5. We are not going to more than double our readership, I don't believe. So, Republicanist forces have destroyed Antigra's illegal satellites. Okay. Hugging boys, they're hugging. All right, Dark Republic mines are flummoxed. Terrorist bomb explodes. Farming is awesome. And just to make sure that we don't achieve the readership numbers, let's end it right there. We have lost more readers.
There are too few articles. You have lost readers. There are not enough interesting articles. You've lost readers. You have failed to acquire enough readers with loyalty minus 30. Without a loyal audience, the Republic of Times has no influence. Your services are no longer required. Your family has been eliminated, and you will be reassigned. All right. So. If there is another way to complete the game, that does not involve your family being eliminated and you being reassigned. Um, you know, let me know. But, uh, I am fairly sure that this accept fate button and going back to the Republic of Times is all you can do. If you complete the goals of sowing dissent earlier than the day that the revolutionaries plan to hold a revolution, they don't start the revolution early, I don't think. Which doesn't, you know, enable them to get your family out. But regardless, I believe I have exhausted all the various permutations of what to do in the Republic of Times. <clears throat> As I say, it's been an amusing little game, and it is, uh, you know, something like, it's, it's, it's related to my own, uh, my own job, my own life, so it's sort of cool that way. But yeah, folks, this is Bobo the Vulture, and this is this has been Let's Play the Republic of Times. And uh, I thank you very much for having watched. See ya!